Um, with me again for a total change of pace uh, is my friend Tal Spinrad from... Uh, uh, where are you from, Tal? Introduce yourself. <laughs> are we talking? Are we talking uh, professionally? Or? So Tal is from the United Jewish Education Board, and he, yeah, run, okay. and he runs the Kulanu program. I have to do it now. Obviously, he runs the Kulanu, the the uh, program uh, for kids in special schools. Uh, but he wants to talk to us today about an NDIS Plus advocacy forum that's going to be held on the twenty seventh of November. That uh, is going to have some Jewish. Um, representation there, especially in the, in the form of Tal. What's going on with NDIS and what you need from it? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for the platform. If I can give you a little context for a second, though, I thought you were going to ask me where I'm originally from, and I said, we don't have two days <laughs> uh, to, to make that uh, sort of journey. But uh, just, to get, just to give some context, especially for these times, um, it is said that during the Civil Rights Movement in the United States, that a lot of the racist comments and the racist attacks upon the black community and, in fact, the Jewish community, because we were great allies with black community back there in the 50s and 60s, yeah. was an attempt to distract us from our jobs, from our purpose. Yeah. Because we're constantly fending off these attacks, we would forget what we're supposed to be doing. And we're in a space right now that we're doing that yeah. uh, here in Australia, around the world, in Israel. And part of, part of our job as Jewish professionals is to uh, keep our eye on the ball and to keep doing what we are supposed to be doing. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things that I found uh, both in post-9-11 when I was running a school, a Jewish school, <laughs> a Jewish school in uh, the States, uh, was that keeping places open that were Jewish were important to the Jewish community. Mm. People needed places where they can gather organically. They needed to understand that not only this, they were safe, but in the case of schools, in the case of UJEB, in the case of NDIS, that not only our fam- Jewish families and our Jewish children are being taken care of and they're not going to slip through the cracks in any form whatsoever, that also the most vulnerable in our community, the people with disabilities, the people on autism spectrum, the people with diverse gender, sexuality, orientation, all these people are going to continue to be taken care of by our communal institutions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Segway. Uh, on the uh, 27th of November, which I believe is a Monday night, right? Uh, 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 the Jewish... Uh, it is, yes. Jewish, yeah, thank you. I, I, the, even a broken watch is right twice a day, right? <laughs> the Social Blueprint, which is a wonderful uh, umbrella Jewish organization, uh, is facilitating a uh, disability expo where it's going to be split half and half. The first half is basically going to be... Uh, we have fine speakers... Uh, trying to explain the labyrinth of uh, finding your way through NDIS. NDIS is a fantastic scheme. It has helped, personally, has helped me with my three kids that are on the spectrum and myself that has autism, has helped facilitate a enriched life for us. Mm-hmm. The, the life experience is much better because of this. It facilitates yeah. financial needs. However, trying to, trying to navigate it uh, takes, I uh, hear so much on the news about how difficult it is to to go through NDIS corridors. And well, we are still we are still trying to get a for the NDIS. We're still trying to get sort of a navigation device that is half Kabbalah and half Ouija board, <laughs> so that we can actually work our way through it. It's a lot of very well meaning people, but as you can imagine, I, I please don't fall off your chair. But it's a, a government. <laughs> uh, funded organization, which means there might be a tad of bureaucracy involved. No kidding. But How this terrible. evening, yes, <laughs> this evening is an evening that at least the first half is to try to help Jewish families navigate this. And more than this, this evening as having a Jewish content, it's in, it's all Jewish. It's Jewish organizations, Jewish, uh, 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 the uh, so, you know the um, social blueprint is a fantastic Jewish organization. We're going to have three or four speakers that are going to focus on on what how how can we utilize how can we make use of this fantastic uh, support system that we call the NDIS. Yep. The second half is that we have an, a a wide array 
of fantastic Jewish organizations within the disability sector that 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 are going to have tables and booths, and you're going to be able to get to meet and, and and meet not only the programs but the faces behind the program. So, so who should come, and what are they going to learn, uh, and, and what other organizations are going to be there? Obviously, uh, you're going. All to right, be there. The, uh, you, Jeb, the Kulano Project. I will be there. Unfortunately, this I'm, I have, as they say, the, a perfect face for radio. <laughs> I will be the face of the uh, Kulano Project. There, there's going to be. Uh, I just have a list here because the list is long. I won't go through it. But Jewish Care, All Things Equal, um, Care Now. There's going to be lay groups like the uh, the uh, neurodiverse, Jewish diverse face, Facebook group, which has uh, taken 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 off. Uh, that was that was basically started uh, behind some work by Talia Bassin. Uh, that uh, we're trying to facilitate this network that one of the uh, one of the challenges for people with kids with disabilities or have disabilities themselves is they feel isolated they feel they feel isolated isolated, isolated yeah. within the community yeah. this is a perfect opportunity to, for people to get together and to network with each other just laterally with other families that are in this somewhat the same uh, life situation yeah and and to meet face to face people who can can help them out and be a support and resource like the Kulano Project and Jewish Care and across the board, yes. Now, we've talked about Kulano before, yes. your, your program, right. but for those who haven't heard you before, can you just briefly sketch it out and, and how many kids are involved? Briefly. I am, I am standing on one foot at the moment. <laughs> uh, briefly, um, we are the uh, disability inclusion wing of UJEP, which means the at the at the core is we do uh, I do uh, music music sessions in specialist schools weekly on a half hour basis, and if you have a kid in a specialist school, whether at Glen Allen or any specialist school in Victoria, get in touch with us and we can do these programs. They're fun. They're engaging. I have th- I have a lot of life experience in terms of. Uh, engaging with people that have disabilities, intellectually delayed, the full spectrum of being on the spectrum, as it were. Mm -hmm. So know that it is appropriate and engaging for this for this for this community. In addition to that, we do a ton of uh, professional development in Jewish day schools and communities, synagogues. We're reaching out to a lot of non-Jewish communities in terms of we're trying to collaborate with First Nations uh, elders, tribal elders, and to try to create a sto- a tribal storytelling circle that we'll read, me- uh, we'll read re- regularly. One of the things that has been an outgrowth of the past five weeks is that it, that the the basically the day of one of the political day of mourning for the First Nations people, the voting down of the voice referendum, hmm. almost exactly coincided with 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 our uh, our mourning of the massacre in early October, right. and that we have been reaching out to each other and trying to find common ground about how to about how to deal with the grief and process and move on from it. And one of the ways to move on from it is by gathering together is this fantastic event. If you want to register for this event, it's a free event, free, free. What's the word I'm looking for? It is free. <laughs> it's a free event. Uh, uh, contact uh, the uh, the uh, social blueprint. You can find them on Facebook. Right. There. Um, Where is it? Uh, and we do, you have to register you first. You have to register first. And they write. For security reasons, you're registering first. You register, again, free. And we will, we will the Jewish, pro, uh, the social blueprint will send you uh, the, the location the day before. Fantastic. Very, very simple. Fantastic. And while we're talking of, sure. ab- about this, this event, um, we're joined, actually, in a moment by a representative of Jewish Care who will also be involved involved in your event, uh, Rabbi Nirenberg, who I'll introduce shortly. Um, uh, so, but anyway, Carl, again, thank you for being with us and, and, and spruiking your stuff. So we, we go online with the social blueprint to register for this. Right, go online, find that, find their website. It's easy. It's uh, 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 socialblueprint.org. Uh, 
.org.au, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a fa wonderful Facebook page, which has a link on that as well. And if you if you if it gets not too if it gets too confusing for you, just please email me at inclusion inclusion all small case inclusion dot, uh, inclusion at ujeb dot org dot au. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Carl, thanks for being with us again. My and, pleasure. And Thank you. Hashakoyak yeah. on all your work. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much.